This is Ace with Rock Revolt Magazine. I am here with Jenny of Blame Shift. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm awesome. How about you? Doing good, doing good. I actually just got done talking to a, a little birdie who told me that you're going to be teaming up going out uh, in October for a little run with uh, the Nearly Deads. Yes. Yep. I'm so excited. Yeah, TJ told me to tell you hi, by the way. <laughs> hi, TJ. <laughs> yeah. So, so you guys are teaming up, doing a little co-headlining tour. Looks like uh, hitting some of the Midwest, but starting over there on the East Coast, near near to your house. Yeah, yep. We're gonna be doing probably like a little, a little less than half the country, but um, hitting some of our favorite spots. So. Yeah, yeah. What are what are some of your favorite spots? You got some favorites out there? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, just in terms of states, um, we just we love Illinois. Um, love Ohio, Michigan. The Midwest is really like, you know, the place to be for rock music. So, um, yeah, we, 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 I mean, obviously we love the whole country. I love also Texas and going out to the West Coast, but, um, the Midwest is kind of where, where our bread and butter is at, you know? All right. I got to have this debate with you. Ohio in the Midwest or not in the Midwest? I consider it Midwest. Come on. No way. <laughs> Why? Is that where you live? No, I'm in Kansas City. <laughs> and I have this debate. It's like Ohio is not the Midwest. That is, to me, that's East Coast. That's that's East. Is it really? To, oh, yeah. that's, that's East, man. It, that's not the Midwest. You know. Yeah. You know what though? Like whenever we're in the Midwest, like Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, that kind of thing, we're always like right before we're in Michigan, like the day before we're in Ohio. Right. So like it's kind of like lumped in. I see what you're saying though. It probably is considered the East Coast. You're probably right. About that. <laughs> I just always have to ask, especially for someone from the East Coast, what they think about that. So, I'll give you Michigan and Iowa and Illinois; those are definitely Midwest. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, you guys are going to be going out now. It's been a while since you guys have put out any new music. What do we got? We got anything new? You're going to be uh, unveiling on this tour? Um, yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, we we put our album out about a year ago. We put out our um, we did a, a video for Monster. We did that about. So we launched that last August, um, but yeah, we're gonna just we're gonna be playing because this is actually our first tour that we're doing with our new album, even though it's like a year old. Okay. Um, so we're gonna be putting some new stuff off of that, and we're gonna be doing one cover that's gonna be really fun. That um, we're super excited about that, and uh, yeah, just you know, we're definitely gonna be pushing the, that album Heart of Stone since we haven't actually um, toured behind it yet. Right on. Now you're gonna keep that cover secret, or what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a secret. It's oh. awesome though. It's like it's an oldie, but a goodie, but not too old. Right. You have to. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's what's gonna make people come out. You have to come out and check out this cover because we don't. We never do covers. We're just like we're just. It's not our thing. But uh, yeah, you gotta come check that out. Oh. <laughs> and that's what I mean. And on your guys' Facebook page, that's what you're asking the fans. You know. What do you guys want to hear? What what do you, what would you like us to you know? They, you're letting the fans help build your set list. How's that response been? And have you got that set yet? Are you still waiting for some suggestions? How's that How's that going? Well, you know, what? it's so funny. Whenever we ask like the fans what they want to hear us play, it's always really old, like like music that we haven't played in years, and it's it's like hilarious. Because I was going through those comments, and I'm like, oh my god, there's no way. So we were playing any of like like seventy five percent of the songs that people were were recommending. I was like, this not happening. <laughs> but it's good to like you know it's good to see what people you know old school fans they're like they're they're so like in love still with with the original stuff. And I totally get that because I'm like that with some of my favorite bands too. But as the artist, you always want to play new stuff. Right. It's like fresh free and, and and exciting and you know so it's such a like it's you're kind of like caught in that like weird place you know because everyone wants to hear old stuff but you want to play new stuff so right. we'll, we'll try to do a little bit of both not like super old school like some of these people some of these fans want to hear <laughs> i don't think that's ever gonna happen <laughs> was that your secret way of telling us man i don't want to learn all this old shit <laughs> you know what sometimes like there's some songs that I that we put out, and you know that I would have to re literally relearn. It's been so long, and you know there's been so much new stuff since then. Right. Yeah, I would have totally have to relearn our stuff. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. But but like you said, it's cool though, just seeing all the old school people just 
not only are they are they old school fans, but they're still along for the ride, and that's always got to make you feel good. It's amazing. Yeah, we we have some really dedicated, awesome fans. We're very lucky. Uh, yeah. Now that's why I'm looking at the dates here um, up on the. Uh, Nearly Dead's Facebook page here, looking at, you know, got a couple dates, uh, like I said, Wisconsin, you're hitting Oklahoma. Um, no Kansas City date, man. What's up? I know. You know, we're working on it. Um, we're working on it. There's a few other dates that, that uh, will be added that we just wanted to re- get this out there because a lot of venues, you know, they, they want to start announcing. Right. So we just wanted to get this out there. But there are a few more dates. Going to get filled in, and Kansas City is one of them that's hopefully going to be on there. Um, we've been um, tossing around a couple ideas, so yeah, d- don't count that out yet. Right on, <laughs> right on. That'd be great for y'all to come through. Uh, that way, we can check you out here in KC. Absolutely. I, I want to hear. I need to know this cover, man. I need to hear the cover. It's the only way I'm going to do it. So you have to come here. I right know. You got to come to the show. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so like I say, you guys are going to be out on the road. You are basically supporting um, Heart of Stone, like you said, but I'm sure you guys probably do have some other stuff in the works, yeah? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, we, we're always writing. I think that we're going to go out and record a single out in L.A. with our producer, Eric Ron. He's uh, doing some really awesome things right now. He's so booked up, but... Uh, I think he's going to squeeze us in. We're going to go out and do a single in January. So right on. Um, that'll be cool. Right on. Now, since you guys, you and, you and the Nearly Dead, you guys are going out and doing this thing. Now, have you, uh, are you guys going to, are you going to have a little shenanigans out on the road? Are you guys going to, you know, have some fun with each other? What, you got any plans for them? Definitely. 100% shenanigans. Um, we are all about, like, tour pranks and just having having fun and um, we haven't been out on the road in like over a year, which is weird for us because we are used to touring like 200 and something days a year. So we're definitely having a lot of um, built up, you know, aggression that we need to get out. <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> the nearly deads can uh, can can handle all the uh, the fun we're going to be having. We already like we're in a group chat with our with my band. And we're just going, just coming up with some crazy weird things already. So I can only imagine what it's going to turn into. But um, hopefully they're good sports. I know I met TJ before. She's awesome. I don't know the rest of the guys, but, um, yeah, I'm sure they'll be really awesome and, and up for the uh, the tour shenanigans. <laughs> just, just the fact that you guys are actually pre-planning this is insane. That you You are pre-planning oh. messing with these people. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Not not only that, but um, we we have some things planned for our for our one of our roadies, Phil. He's like part of the family, but we like to mess with him. So we're like planning some stuff based around him. We're just you know we're getting very excited. Oh, wow. too excited! About it, but. it sounds like it, man. You're like I'm ready to <laughs> mess with people's lives. I can't wait. <laughs> 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 well, that's going to be awesome, man. That's going to be fantastic. Um, and also another thing we were talking about uh, before we got on here, uh, you said you and uh, your guitar players, Tim, right? Yep. yep. You guys have like your own kind of jewelry gig going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, that's kind of why we took off um, the last year from the road. Um, we kind of want to take some time, decompress, and launch our brand, which is called Strung. Um, it's a music-inspired jewelry line, and it's made from authentic guitar strings. So we we developed the line while we were out on the road touring. We started selling them at shows, you know, broken strings. Um, GHS was giving us their irregular strings that, like, they couldn't sell. Um, it was, like, an amazing, amazing thing we, we were doing. And um, we started selling these, these guitar strings with charms and um, guitar picks on them and selling them like crazy after every show and felt like we couldn't keep up with the demand every night and we realized that maybe we had something bigger than what we initially thought so we took a little time off and we launched the brand officially um last july um and now we're in about a little over 100 stores um around the world um anywhere from canada puerto rico um japan and all over the u.s music stores boutiques and all that kind of stuff so it's really taken off, so it's it's 
it's been really fun. It's kind of, you know, directly related to music, but still um, obviously, you know, a little bit different, but it's it's been an amazing adventure so far. So it's, we're really excited about it. Heck yeah. And I mean, that's, the, you know, it's a cool way to put old equipment like the guitar strings to use when you have nothing else you can do with them. It's a great way to recycle exactly. all that stuff. And it looks yep, like... And, uh, well, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, um, yeah, for sure. And it's like, it's just something so close to our heart. Like, you know, like with any brand or any business, it's, if it's something that, um, you know, you believe in, it's so much easier to, to sell it. And for us, like, you know, we, we'll go to walk into a store and pitch our brand. And, and once they find out that we're actually musicians and we're, we're actually in a band and this is, we've been living on the road for 10 years and, you know, we, like, it's like, it's the brand sells itself. So it's been really rewarding and really fun and we're excited to see where it goes. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I mean, and that's another thing, like even with this, what you're doing here, like, you know, in a lot of bands, you know, like just like selling old drumsticks, old drum heads at shows, it's, it's just a great way to make money for the tour and get rid of your old stuff. And fans love that kind of thing. Fans love anything that's connected to their favorite bands. So it, this is a brilliant yeah. idea. It's a very brilliant idea. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We're, we're, we've been really excited about it, pushing it really hard. Um, working really hard again and you know it'll be it'll be interesting being out of the road and still running a business because like I said we're in over a hundred stores now and we have you know stores calling and ordering every day so and, and obviously our, our online store so it'll, it'll be interesting trying to do both juggle both at the same time but um, but we're up for the challenge I guess <laughs> right. and it looks like your online store is getstrong.com correct it is. yep okay yep. So that everybody can go to getstrung.com, check out the uh, what you got there. Now, have you guys loaded up a bunch of merch to, um, of the strong merch to take out on tour with you to sell on site, or is that more? Are you trying to keep that a little separate? Oh, you know, we'll have a full our full store with some um, even some like stuff that we're going to be debuting that is not even on our online store yet. We'll have okay. um, so definitely check that out at uh, we'll have a whole strong table because Strung's actually sponsoring the tour as well. Oh, nice! So we'll have a whole strong. At the uh, at the at the show, so cool. Yeah. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. That uh, it definitely helps get not only blame shift out there, but it also helps get strung out there for you guys being able to tour and take a piece of that with you. Exactly. Yep. Oh yeah, that's yep. awesome. Well, you like I said, it sounds like you guys are definitely excited to not only get on the road, but get on the road and have a lot of fun. Um, you know, is there anything you want to tell the fans, anything, tell them how to get a hold of you guys before we let you get on with the rest of your day? Yeah, well, we actually just um, posted our tour flyer with all the dates. Um, there, Like I said, there's still going to be a few that are going to be added. So if you don't see your state, don't get too upset. I see people already posting no Michigan dates, and um, but we're working on a Michigan date. Um, we're working on a Kansas City date. So don't, don't freak out. <laughs> we're still trying to... To add some, some dates in here. But um, if you don't see your state, you know, road trips are always fun. We have a bus. We'll let you guys come hang out and, and hang with us, you know. So, um, yeah, definitely check out those dates and share the flyer. Let's try to, you know, spread it as much as we can. And we're just excited to get back on the road and see all of our friends. So, right on. Yep. Absolutely. Well, Jenny, I greatly appreciate you taking some time today to talk with us, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. And you guys, uh, you guys have fun out there on the road, man. Absolutely. Thanks so much. It was great talking to you. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye.